guys, um, we're going to film our second monthly favourites. Yes. And it's basically the second one in two years. <laughs> so we're going to try to do this on a regular basis now. Hopefully Lottie will help. Um, this is one of our first videos we did. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we did the monthly dream tag favorites, and yeah. then the monthly favourites. Yes, so we've got just a couple of things that we are really, really loving um, this month. Do you want to go first as you're the guest on my channel? Okay, um... Apricot Scrabble. Cool. So this is from by Jason. I think is how you pronounce the brand. But basically, um, it's vegan, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I am vegan, and it's cruelty free. Um, I don't like putting anything on my face that isn't vegan. I don't want it to be tested on animals or anything like that. So this. Where did you get it from? From Planet Organic. Planet Organic is so good. It's about five Planet. pounds. I can't speak. Planet, Planet <laughs> Organic. It's about five pounds. So I don't know. It's a bit expensive, I think, for a face scrub. But um, I'd rather kind of spend a bit more, know that yeah. it's, it's not like it's cruelty free and everything. Um, so it's basically apricot scented, it smells really good. And it's really, really thick, so you kind of like rub it over. Yeah, I've actually got some of this in. as well. I, I did get it. Yeah, I got some. Yeah, it's really, oh, really yeah. good. Yeah, it's really good. But yeah, deep I've... core cleansing for women and men, so it's easy to cool. Well, mine, I've got a bit of a, a like a beauty, it's a beauty product. And I'll go, mine is, this is nearly run out, Macadamia. They do um, the professional hair range. It is so good and it smells delicious. Have you smelt it? Probably. Smell that. Mm, chocolatey. It's, oh, it's, ma well, it's like, well, macadamia. Oh, it's kind of like oh, okay. nutty. It is seriously good and it's, it's so good for your hair. This is actually um, gluten free as well. The whole range is gluten free. So it basically means obviously the people who've got celiac, your your skin is kind of like the biggest organ in your body. So if you're celiac, this is perfect mm -hmm. um, because of you, you absorb it. So I am loving that, but I'm really sad because this is the Towsel Texture Finishing Spray, which is basically a, um, a hairspray. I'm nearly running out. Get some more. I know, I need to. But they also do, a humidity spray as well, which basically it's like an umbrella for your hair. So it means if you've done your hair, yeah, that's massive. what you put in my hair. Yeah, like it's so good, it's so good. So yeah, macadamia professional range is so amazing. I love that. What's your next one? Okay, um, staying on the vegan path, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Oh these. yeah, they're so good. Is it naked? Yeah. I'm gonna say naked. Naked, naked. I mm, think so. I don't know. So basically they're fruit and nut nibbles, they come in loads of different flavours. Our favourites are the toffee and, and the toffee. And I quite like the strawberry one actually, the strawberry one is really nice. But yes, we love those. So they're all, they're one of your five a day, they're vegan. Yeah, they're just really They're guilt free. They're really basically. nice, like sprinkled on ice cream, I like them because they kind of go a bit chewy. Oh, did really you know good. we've actually got some of the, um, sorry, sorry. yeah we've got sweet ice cream in the fridge, do you know that? Nope. I forgot the other day. I forgot to tell her. Anyway, my next favourite is well, basically, this is a whole of me at the moment. I am completely obsessed, obsessed with anything sparkly mm. and glittery and sequin. And we've got sparkly cushions, and we're redoing the whole house, so we're kind of doing greys, taupes, and silvers. And my latest obsession. Dupony. Is this? It is so pretty. It's all sparkly. It's gorgeous. And this I got from TK Maxx. I can't even tell you what, what brand it is, but I'm literally I'm obsessed with TK Maxx as well because they do the most amazing things. And I literally, this is how sad I am. I've only just discovered they have a home selection. <laughs> that is. I can't believe you didn't know that. I didn't I know. Mean. I did not know that they had a home department. And I'm literally like every time I go into the shops, I'm just like I have to go and have a look because I found tons of stuff. Mm. That I was like, oh wow, I'm going to come back and get it, and it's gone. Sells out quickly. They just go, everything goes really quickly. So yeah, we've got some beautiful frames downstairs as well. So yes, I'm loving that. Just sparkly stuff. Yeah, and it's sparkly. Mm. My okay. wish list for Christmas is just... Sparkly it, stuff. Yeah, it's well, sequins. I'm doing your stocking. Just sequins. So. Buy me a bag of sequins and I'd be happy. Someone called me a magpie once when I was a lot younger. I'm going to get you a bag of sequins now for Christmas. <laughs> Oh, I'd be so happy. Hey, you with a bag of sequins. If I had a like, bag of sequins, I could put sequins on everything. I could hot glue cut them. Oh, no, that's really sad. Dad will watch this and he'll go, no. That'll be not... our arts and crafts section <laughs> of, of the blog. It's on. Christmassy. I'm yeah, it's so. Christmassy. We're allowed, we're allowed to get excited. If you get to the end of this video as well, we're doing a giveaway at the end, so you're going to have to stay tuned. It's a good one. Okay. 
So, this is slightly biased because I work there. <laughs> this oh, is nice. from Oliver Bonus. It's Blackberry Musk Perfume <gasps> Rollable. Oh my god. Smell it, it's really good. They also do one that's Peony Rose, but I quite like this one. Oh Isn't it my god, that so is basically, just... Yeah, it's, I love it because... God, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Because you, I carry it around in my bag. I don't like it when you have bottles because yeah, they so fit in your yeah. bag or anything. But that because it's a nice size, I just kind of that wear is, everywhere. That smells amazing. Really nice. But they do. Like have, and musk. It, the bottle doesn't bounce. We've literally lost about five of these at work <gasps> because people drop them and it just oh, smashes no. everywhere. So be careful. The shop smells nice. Though. Yeah, at least it will smell nice. But it's amazing, isn't it? Ooh, Christmas stocking. So it's made in the UK. It's all like yeah. Lottie's not all of a bonus girl. Yeah. Of bonus. So right, I have got another one. I am obsessed with these two mascaras, so it's kind of like mascara obsession at the moment. This is the Chanel, and I'm not entirely sure which which one this is, but it's got the proper brush on the end of it. This is so good. It's I can't tell you. It adds so much length to your lashes. Mascara, actually, it so. is brilliant. I think it's about thirty pounds, and I think it's worth every penny. Then what I do, I don't know if you've noticed, I've got a bit of blue. Oh yeah. Yeah. I put um this is the benefits, um they're real bright blue um eyeshadow uh, eyeshadow mascara and I actually basically put that over the top. It just gives like a little hint. Nice. I was given this um by the benefit people because we went to a do with them and they did my makeup and they sent me all the stuff. But I'm really loving this. I think that is amazing. Le volume de Chanel. Yeah, I go Le Volume de Chanel. That's this so it's the volumizing one basically. Okay. okay. Next, um, I I love I I I love I love uh, basically um, brow stencils mm -hmm. and little the little strips that you can rem basically kind of wax your own eyebrows. But when you can't do mine, I get these because they're just really handy. Um, they have different shapes, so you have one that you can do on top, one underneath, and then for the middle bit as well. Which the I monkey brow, about, not the monkey brow. <laughs> um, but then the brow stencils, actually, they're really handy because I don't, I mean you and me both, we don't have a natural arch in our eyebrows, they kind of dip down. Yeah, we've got the most horrendous eyebrows. I've actually had my eyebrows tattooed and it was probably the worst thing I ever did because they've now gone slightly grey. So I think the person yeah. who did them, I'm not going to mention the person who did them, but they're like, they're, they filled the gaps and then I just put up with the fact that they are going to fade. Yeah. But, but you basically comes in... To do. Uh, four different stencils, medium arch, Oh, they're really arch. thick, they're like silicone. Yeah, slim arch and full arch. Oh, I wow, think. that's really cool. So you basically, and then you can kind of turn them over to do each eyebrow, yeah. and then I just get my eyebrow stuff and fill it in. Yeah, I don't do really the whole brow, but I just do the arch. You do, ah, you do the arch. I, yeah. Lottie didn't show me any of her stuff before it's we did. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. But yeah. See, that's that good on my face. I use the those. medium arch one. I just kind of hold it up and then just yeah no fill that's in really cool thing. that's good but I got them off ASOS they're not expensive either they're quite cheap uh -huh. so these two together are really see handy. that I have my stocking fillers I've got a little list going on here um right my next favorite is not a monthly favorite this is like a lifetime favorite and I come back to this time and time mm -hmm. again it's the Max Factor Lasting Performance Foundation if they ever discontinue this, or if I find out they're discontinuing this, I am going to go to every single booth in London for and buy. And I'm going to literally stock mm -hmm. up with about a hundred of these because I love them. It it lasts. It's a foundation. Right? It's a foundation. It's so good. It literally lasts and lasts. I get sent so many products to try out for the blog that I'll get sent foundation and think, oh, that's really really good, and I really like that. Like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation is really really good, but. If I'm having a day where I think I know that my skin has to look really good, if mm. I'm having pictures taken, or if we're going to an event and I think, right, I haven't got time to touch up the foundation or re you know, keep putting powder on and stuff, that, and it comes with me. And How I never. 9 99 I might have to try that. Really good. Really, really good. And I've got two more favourites. I have one more. I just, I'll do, you, I'll do you one do more. One. I've got an eyeshadow palette that is just heavenly <laughs> it's a company called um isadora i don't know if it's a new company i think it is a new company again this was sent to me so i'm really really lucky and they come in a blue and a um like a brownie sort of like greeny shades and this is just gorgeous the pigment i'm going to do a close-up so in a minute i'm we'll, we'll cut to some close-ups but the pigment on this is just beautiful mm, nice. and my favorite is the green but actually all of them are so pretty. 
they're really really nice yeah. and I love the packaging I love the fact that the actual the eyeshadow is just like I was gonna it's say like it's like level isn't it it's like level yeah. it's yeah it's like actually it doesn't, doesn't dip down no it, and it, they look very it's velvety pretty, they're yeah. really really gorgeous so that's that's beautiful we have an eyeshadow giveaway in a minute so stay tuned okay so my not one of those one. something else something else very exciting last one <gasps> Is my boots. I know you copied me. Yeah, I've got them I as well. Them but they're basically from H&M, only £30. But I, this was a spontaneous buy. I just kind of walked past the window and went in and had to buy them. Because they're really good for autumn, just for a pair of skinny jeans or tights. They're so comfortable as well. Re yeah, I mean, because there's no platform, so I was expecting them to be a bit Yeah, they're really painful, comfy. But I can spend the whole day. This was. And it's, I think it's been on lots and lots of people's monthly favourites from a very, very long time ago. This is the Charlotte Tilbury... Um, this is her film star bronze glow. Oh my god, the packaging. She just knows how to make women feel really <laughs> wonderful. Rose gold. Oh, oh, it's just beautiful. And I've, okay. I've got my nail went into it. £49. Pounds. £50. Pounds. Oh, that's my stingy side coming out. Though. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And the, the bronzer is just that kind of, <clears throat> you can get a really nice contour without looking too harsh. And then the highlighter is really pretty and it looks really good underneath your arch as well. I just love it so much. It's my little splurge. <laughs> so, if you have stayed to the very end, well done. Because um, obviously you're watching two people's favourites a month. It's quite challenging. <laughs> um, we have got a really, really good giveaway. Um, a naked palette from um, Urban Decay. And I already have one. So Ian was like, why don't you just keep it? So if you ever run out, you've got another one. And I was like, no, I'm going to do a giveaway. So one of you lucky watchers, readers, subscribers will get to win this. All you've got to do is... Let's set out some like ground rules so he's going to win it. Because... <laughs> no, just so, no. All you've got to do is just comment, subscribe comment, and like. Comment, subscribe and like. That's yeah. it. And randomly we'll pick one person. And that's it. So thank you guys for watching and we promise we will see you next month. Not in another two years. Not in another, me. well I think it's about, is it two years? Two years? I don't know. Too but yeah, we're back, we're back for good now. So we're going to be doing some silly challenges as well. So Every Monday. Every Monday. Yeah, leave a comment below and tell us what you want us to do. have an idea for the next one. What? It's called What's in My Mouth. So we go out. Um, to the corner shop or supermarket wherever and buy random food and we have to blindfold each other and then put it in each other's mouth as oh as well, yes. why I thought you were just like, like smelling people's mouths <laughs> no <laughs> oh my god <laughs> hey, <laughs> not that weird no we go and we buy things okay and you have to and work out what it is put it in your mouth and you have to guess oh, what it right, is right okay. okay thank you so much and we'll see you next time bye, bye. Sound good? That does sound that does Kylie sound. Jenner and someone else did it. She had a jar of pig's feet. <gasps> it, that literally <laughs> like but she was, Pig's feet. A jar of pig's feet. And she like she sniffed it and she went <coughs> and Kylie was like, no, no, no. And like she didn't eat it in the end. She'd take a You're gonna do off. cat food and horrible things like that, aren't you? Don't, Don't give me like meat or anything or like cheese. <laughs> I'm serious, true to Literally make, nothing. I can I do can't the wheat eat this. and stuff. But just don't give me anything that's not vegan. I don't want to need to put So I'd have to go to the corner mouth. shop and basically say, but What have you got in vegan? Random things like, I don't know, gherkins. I don't know, like. Yeah, but you like gherkins. Well, I, you know, but. It's going to be something you don't like. But it's no, going to have to be some things you don't like. Please, yeah. Banana. Oh my god. I think I'll. <laughs> I would throw up on you. <laughs> don't give me banana. I think I'd actually cry. I'm not even <laughs> You'd joking. Smell it. I would <laughs> smell it, yeah. I wouldn't, like, you wouldn't get it past me. <laughs> oh, so I'd give you an orange. No, I'd give you oh. the pith of an orange. Oh, that's just that's not. No, we have right. Pinky promise you won't do bananas or pith. <laughs> oh.